my mission was in motion. And though the cactus plant had many thorns, I would bleed and the thorns would run out of me and not stay lodged inside of me. My lover's skills came into action and I maneuvered them like a skilled rider on an unknown path. Like the rhinoceros tearing off all obstacles as he makes his own way. I wrapped my sensuality, this time in a brocade of gold, and worked outside its jeweled cave. I would not and could not share that with these wandering wayfarer, but would give them the mastery of the art of love and their satisfaction would be supreme. He was pleased, more than pleased. And after taking some time, he got up and paid me more than the usual amount. I thanked him, and he said that by me not asking in advance, he felt more human. I am glad, I said, and thanked him again. Rearranging the bed, I walked down to the restroom to wash and take a breath. On the mirror were these words by Baudelaire. Yet many a gem lies hidden still of whom no pickaxe spade or drill the lonely secrecy invades. And many a flower to heal regret pours forth its fragrant secret yet amidst the solitary shades. How absolutely amazing, I thought, and as I walked up the many stairs, nervous about the next encounter, I knew that I would pour forth my fragrant secrets amidst these solitary shades. That's what and who they were, and they came for solace and a moment of triumph and victory with a stranger. I felt growth in me. I saw the gypsy women in Rajasthan painting symbols on my face because they said that I was one of them, wild, brave, and wild. <laughs>